yes, yes. Excusez-moi. So, colleagues, let me know if you are ready, and then we can proceed. You're good? Um, good afternoon to you all, and uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, today hasn't been as long as I think the last time we were in court. Today, two major things happened in the wells of the Supreme Court. First is the formal announcement by counsel for the petitioner that, my lords, we have closed our case. And you notice that the court by court admitted that they have formally closed their case. I'll speak about what that means and what it means for the next step. Prior to that, you saw the petitioner put in the box uh, his third witness, who I believe many people were hoping will help adduce evidence that will advance the petitioner's cause. It is not for uh, nothing that any time we come before you, we go over the issues that the court is seeking to determine. Because sometimes you may hear they are in court, you are, they are in court, but the issues may get missing. So please permit me, uh, when I repeat the issues, what the court is seeking to answer. The court on the 20th of January 2021, after listening to the petition and the answers and reading the memorandum of issues, set down the following issues for the determination of the petition. All of the conversation you hear going back and forth is about these issues. And the petitioner is being required to bring witnesses to adduce evidence to settle these issues. Issue number two, because the first is an issue of law that the court will determine. Issue number two, you're expecting that when witnesses mount the box, they will provide evidence to the effect that based on the data contained in the declaration by the first respondent of the second respondent as president-elect, nobody got 50 percent. You are expecting that when a witness mounts the box, the witness will provide evidence to the effect that the second respondent, if you include or exclude Techiman South, did not cross the constitutionally mandated threshold of 50% plus one. You would expect that when a witness mounts the box, that witness is adducing evidence essentially that will prove that the declaration of the first respondent on the 9th of December was in violation of Article 63.3. Or at least you expect that what the petitioner has listed as errors in the petition, this witness will provide evidence that shows that these errors and these alleged vote padding affect the outcome of the presidential election 2020. So far, we have seen the petitioner put three witnesses in the box, and we are of the view that the court will do a good job in determining whether or not these witnesses have provided any evidence that supports the petition and these issues that the court is seeking to determine. Now, it is upon the completion of this, and note that the petitioner advertised five witnesses and ended up calling three. It is upon the completion of that that the petitioner has now announced to the court that this is all that the case is about. And you heard Mr. Chikata say, my lords, our case is closed. And uh, uh, his lordship, the chief justice, say, by court, the petitioner's case is closed. If we were in a criminal trial, what will happen now is that the court will have to determine whether or not a substantive case has been made, in which case the defendant or the, the, the defense may now raise an argument that maybe no case has even been made. So I don't even need to bother uh, uh, raising a defense in the first place. In a civil process, there are similar remedies. What you noticed happened, which is the second matter I'll speak about, is counsel for the first petitioner announced to the court that the evidence, counsel for the first respondent, I beg your pardon, announced to the court that the evidence that the petitioner has provided is enough and the cross-examination that has taken place is enough, and that the first respondent does not intend to call witnesses to adduce evidence, any further evidence before the court. And counsel on the side of the second respondent has advertised the same. Because by now, whatever evidence that the petitioner has put before the court, once the case is closed, it is believed that they have brought all their evidence and they have made such a strong case 
And so it should actually be to the disadvantage of the respondents if they say that they don't even intend to call witnesses to adduce evidence. But you notice that the petitioners are not too happy about it. They want literally to compel the respondents to bring in witnesses um, to, I don't know, adduce some evidence that may help the petitioner uh, in his course. The court has adjourned, as you heard, to uh, tomorrow morning and will listen to the legal arguments on both sides. We are very, very happy, very happy, extremely happy that the petitioner has come to the end of his case and has adduced all the evidence that he has. Evidence which is supposed to prove that nobody got 50%, that whether or not you add Tichiman South, uh, the winner will change. That Article 63.3 has been breached. This is all the evidence that they have, which they have made available. And we'll hear what the court says tomorrow as it proceeds to deal with the matter. Yes, sir. I want you to go back and play the tapes of our press briefings here. The narrative has not changed. We have always insisted that the onus of proof lies on the petitioner. Sections 14, 17 of the Evidence Act are very clear. He who alleges must prove. You have told your supporters across the country that you won and that they should get on the streets. People died. People got injured. People got involved in infractions with the police and got arrested because you told them you won. When you came to court, you abandoned that and said, nobody won. And the court has invited you to prove. We have always maintained that we are waiting for their witnesses who will adduce evidence to prove that at least their second argument that nobody won is true. And we have always maintained that Chairman McMenu is ready on standby, that when they prove this and it becomes necessary for us to go into the box and prove that what they are saying is not true because they would have made a preliminary case, who will do so. You have seen their three witnesses. The court has seen them. The whole country has been watching. We've all been waiting with bated breath to see the evidence that nobody won, to see the evidence that when you add or you don't add to Tim and Sal, the results will change substantially to mean who crossed the 50% threshold, to see the evidence that Article 63.3 and on our side, we are not convinced that any such evidence has been put there. That is why we have announced to the court that we don't intend to call any fresh witnesses or any witnesses. Because on our side, the view and the belief is that that case has not been made. So the narrative has not changed. The whole country has been waiting. All the NDC supporters, I'm sure, have been glued to their TV, waiting to see their officials prove that nobody got 50% or that at least the first argument holds true. Now they have announced to the court that they have finished their case. And I'm sure many people are surprised. Now the second part of your question about uh, uh, why uh, Chairman McMahon will not be taking the um, witness box. A party advertises to the court how many witnesses it chooses to call or its intention that it may call X or Y or Z. And as you heard the bench in exchanges with the lawyers, there are questions about when that election takes place, which I think questions will be addressed yesterday. But isn't it interesting that Mr. Mahama himself, the petitioner, did not mount the witness box? And we are not arguing about why he's not in the witness box. Why has he not taken the stand? Why has he not taken the witness box? Can anybody force him to take the witness box? The petitioner himself, even to court, he has been here twice, and other representatives come on his behalf. Can anybody force Mr. Mahama to take the witness box? Can anybody force the other two witnesses of the NDC that by force they should get into the box? So if you're asking about uh, uh, Chairman McManus uh, uh, or, or the announcement that we will not be putting anybody in the box, as I've mentioned, it is because our lawyers are of the view that that, that basic threshold has not been met. They have not adduced any... I don't know if you have seen evidence that shows that nobody won the election or that 63. This is what they told the country. This is what they told the court subsequently when they came. And our lawyers are of the view that that hasn't happened. That is why nobody will be bothering to take the stand. And uh, tomorrow they will advance legal arguments to that effect. 
But if your question is about why he isn't taking the stand, maybe we should ask why Mr. Mahama is not taking um, the witness box as well, and why they are not bringing the other two. Yes, sir. The calling of Mr. McMeno is very different from the um, the, the, the EC's posture. Mr. McMeno is representative or is a witness for the second respondent. We are of the view that the petitioner has not crossed that threshold, and that's why we have announced to the court that we will not be calling Mr. McMeno to bother to even give any evidence because no substantial case has been made. That is the opinion of our lawyers. Now, should the EC change its mind or should the bench decide that the EC should go in and answer? It has nothing to do with um, uh, our side. We have made a case, the court will make a determination on whether or not uh, we, we should be forced to put a witness in the box when we are of the view and the evidence, I think as has been seen by many, is in question about whether or not they have made a case as they had advertised earlier. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's a very good question. Last time you raised a similar question, I made the point that this is a court of law, not the court of public opinion. This is, with the greatest of respect, this is not the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament that the EC must give us some answers. This is not budget hearing of Parliament that the EC must come and justify its budget. You have come to court with a specific petition and the onus of proof is on you to show to the court that this is the basic case and therefore somebody has a question to answer. Where you have not met that threshold, you cannot resort to what I keep telling you are propaganda answers. That when you lose the legal battle, then you resort to propaganda questions and answers that, you know, it's in the interest of all Ghanaians and so why the easy? No. And let me also make a distinction. In the 2013 election petition, the Electoral Commission mounted the witness box. Why? Because the petitioner came to court with results of about 11,000 polling stations. Pink sheets to back same. And to make an argument that when you deal with the lack of signatures, the multiple um, um, serial numbers, etc., which are all infractions, and you strike them out, you have to call a proper declaration of the result that Nana Rudan Kwekufuado is the winner of this election. He came with evidence and made a case. You have been here and you have heard the bench labor, asking the petitioner over and over again, where are the numbers? Where are the numbers? Where are the numbers? And time and time again, they make the point that it's not even relevant to their petition and that they are not here looking for um, uh, new numbers or anything or a new declaration, but they are here to question the conduct of the EC chair. The two cases are very different. One came to court with pink sheets and evidence. And the petitioner in 2013 mounted the witness box. Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia, who was one of the petitioners, mounted the witness box to advance his case, made the case. And therefore, the EC had to get in the box to respond. You have been here. Have you seen their pink sheets? Have you seen their uh, regional? Have you heard them answer the questions when the bench puts the question that, what are the numbers? So the two cases are different. And it's not, uh, you know, that is in the public interest or is in the public interest. This is a court of law, not a court of public opinion. Yes, sir. Yeah. The court has said that as the last issue, the last issue, to determine whether or not these so-called errors materially change the result of the election. It's one of the issues that the court is going to determine. 
And that is why at every material moment you hear, for example, um, the Venerable Akutuan Pao, and today you heard him ask that same question of Ruju, that I want to suggest to you that this is your uh, uh, 1,700 or so that you are talking about is not material enough to affect the outcome of the result. You heard that question, and you heard his answer. He was being evasive, but you heard his answer. The point is that the so-called errors, or the phrase that they like to put out, the propaganda phrase they put out, the ever-changing results, the ever-changing results, like how they put it. Even if you admit that those are substantial errors, the question is, does it change who won the election? If somebody beats you by 500,000 votes, and you come and you say, I saw 1,700, which I describe as vote padding, the court wants to determine whether or not it is substantial enough to change the results. And that is why, at every point in time, we keep asking them to provide the court with those numbers that will show substantially that it can change. And you hear them ever, over and over again decline so to do. I think that for the millions of NDC supporters who are watching across the country, they will also be asking questions. Because now there's a clear difference between what the petitioner and his colleagues told them on the night of the election and what they are saying in court, and some of the admissions they are making in court. For example, you heard Mr. Roji Metsununu admit that for almost three hours, he had left the strong room and was at the reception of the commissioner and admitted that he was having tea, but then, you know, uh, um, uh, um, argued that there were no biscuits involved. These things may sound as funny, but the supporters of the NDC down there across the country will be asking themselves that. So while they were out there, having been misled that they had won the election. This is what their seniors were doing at the premises of the Electoral Commission. This is what they told the public. And now when you come here, you have to make some admissions. So the jury would, I mean, the bench will make a determination at the end of the day. Colleagues, are there any other questions? Let me yield the podium to my colleagues to translate it. Uh, <sighs> Abujan for your better more, I say. And there, I ya die a tosso, a year do me no. Ah, ya dear Abba, a year Supreme Court, hey. Na and that, young Nayanim, Nano Fiada, and now NDC, a tone, sir, an answer petitioner, or Penny Mahama, a tone, sir, a defray, na dancing near or tosso me and sir, and in your chat to all. Nay, a toto, na no. Na to turn on your young yahoo and semi be a peer. Nan yahoo here, ye pano, a yan somewhere court no. O dear sin and this war, sir, or bepper whom why yet. Near whom here, you know, and I say, Nana do dunk well, Kufuado, His Excellency. O ya a year or Hanumu in Chichemu, a dunum, and yet Chiana. And we are dear sea court, and you super a pair ye. It in somewhere, Uber can be ano, or set Unya so. Mwaye, na winya ni nina suo, ene omufre rojo meteo nunu, ye ina yeti nse mini biyo kanye, ene ye busano, wasi onune jumo bedi ya nebi yo honu mwa, eye mfumsuo, wadine sa shakra taase, uko busana, wasi eye mfumsuo, ono ye ye, ebi yo honsuwa, wasi o, oye ye sansa na ompese, obeye akwensidye, ede ama electoral commission. We ni na ano ayi nsemu a uti mse na nsi si suo. Afi kwa di osi easy e pamono e free demu hano. Eno ye ene ade ba kwe beto ju ene yuhu mse eno sono nsi si suo. E biye ade ba kwa sa kan e kwa mpa. O admiti ye electoral commission e mo accreditation obia e nine obia e nine o. E ti se bibi kwa mpa si na mpeni fui mi eno se mo kwa be biya. E ye mi eno na kwe chire no. I was in Kumuti Mijinum, where Yen Hunisa, Ubusan Uswa, Unya, and Uyen Farmer. Near Busan, I said, Don Shire, a young man, son, I who could be war ye or bar penny, Jane Mansa office. Ah, not a Tihon Mo, Nipa, the Wako. Sakona could did you make your case, ye say? So we shall on one a crata or the Abra Court, now share a pot. I toss with me and son. Near all train, Yanis, ye had no cause on court, no question, ma, Ebano, none in Nijihua. Not Nesasha, see, I won't walk at him. Any pie at Waka Quatna is your catchy. Sacco, no quite did you make a say a former party. Oko ya, what Jumadian Nessiho, 
and now Uti is your papa office, don't hear me and son, and now Wunum tea. Now you say Busawa was able to biscuit in Kahun. Way I am Samoa, or Penny Rojo Metonunu, a Kokayo, Nanumba Kaya, or Penny Bako by Dr. Kwasa White, or Swan who's a Janet Charger with Fiend in the Fumbe Dumier. We hear a near ma or more canning in Anna. Now you say, and yet you're my pebby, and no more by ya, or more by a beddy, a wonum. Itiana, you who name Samuel Anno to Tuono, Senia, a sequoia. Now a bra, a wea, a ninjano, a tutuna, a nunia, a wea, ye, easy, a wea, a dear, or Penny could tamper, a wea, a dear. And now easy, a de two, just say. So we share a mrenum, now we share a year order, thirty six, a year forty seven, no, thirty six, rule four. Now King Kai Hobana, send your metier a year open year, see a dunketia, or metier no assem. Now I'm a tear a year, Doctor Kwesa White, and no assem. Now I'm a say tear a year open ye, Robert um, Joseph Metununu, or metier no assemuneno. Dabi, a whom he across it, or Massa no comedia dancing be a beam. San San Seminina and Yina Swano, or Mentiman for Yina Sobiano Ama. And now Openi Chatu said, Debi, send your Tibian or see a freno, Naya de Neba. A hall and a court, Eddie Ababi drew. Now would tear in seven be a yen yano mendis if four can. Almost a dear Bena or Bapa Easy, or Janiya Free, sir, or Bejana Dakim. A Busia for Musma Busam Hose, a dear Bear Pan, a former President Mahama Uzi, a real. Now we see what in Kunim. I feel baby a court to the OCD will be a new Kunim, yes, and caught up on a full fro. A bush of Yemsu Musa, former president Mahama say, What would the wasam about court? What book could do? Now one fine in a so be a man. I then I would be a one better box from me unto two anno. A bush, aha, yet the mra and a year, Juma. And one, Obekaya twenty thirteen, and also more they come once some say twenty thirteen. A year doctor for a jan, etna that come, and no crap. Doctor Farijan Tran that came son said, and you know so I did buy no na a mupi. Yeah, but answer crane by near the six thousand pink sheets in Abba. Yeah, the assembly cost on only a sadi another twelve thousand. A pubus ya any a pum a do me a minuko in the chim. A tabus ya for ye ye din ya saw the bar and tina and who be in answer doctor Farijan or better that came near doso doso no and they mumbu some who say. A judge is from Penny for your crabs and this for Sena Munina so on here. My Lord, I have not brought that figure to court. Mam fat sa and kuntebona ma court. A man do a sign a mumu candidate in yaya. I have not brought that figure to court. Yan fasa manu a ma court to them has say. Na e kamia kwese in yina so be any se mumu e canim. E to way enne bebia enne ye be drew ye. Nanyame ya duma or china court e besai at nasi. Na and semwa ye cano e biem yen so. A year of Penya could tamper. Where they can't than a dessert. A yard, dear, or no sonor in the witness called Beth Reno, Sanse, a year or more, dear, assembled to a cotton, or Monsieur Danfa, as some case, Ebiano, and Bambi Tuja. A Timestrum, a beam, Omocrat, almost had a Shomocrat, Temocrat, say, Omber Fra dance before a noon. A baby at Seno, a nay, Omacrosum case, just Oma Saman Casa, Omo de Bay, Omo Quedu, Omo de Bayano, Omo Semunya, Oma Tumanum to a ye, Oma ye, Omo ye, I dance for me and some penom frame. Obi asha omu kiti nisa omu kofre tu na akane mrami yonu na ake cheno omu kofa mrana debi obi anshe omu Eti adia ni diye unti bin shi obi se wa u ke sinye no usi chinchina ope se obi nso ede na ase mo beji na adake mu na udoso doso nuwa Eti ya busu ya fuwa saane ne yeko yue ye na mesre mo sene debi ya muwa me huwa daje na mumu ya hume hiya ya mpeni fuwa muwa se no aosye timido me di the most general general secretary of the ruling new patriotic party onuwa muwa ha se uh, Chairman Mark Menusu Kayaho, lawyer Joyce Boatin, Opoku Boatin, and so Akayaho has a President Tangasa lawyer, Kou Esuman, and so Kaho, and now you are a part of the research team, or no so I will say be lawyer Nana Ajua Adobia Asante, Mrs. and so Ewaha, and now you are minister designate information, Kodua Ponkruma, and now you are a year deputy director at the communication uh, presidency. And so, I will say, and I a beam, ya yen me about con lawyer, Patriot Faisal, or non so a genuine de Maye. Ya lawyer for lawyer Kotampao, lawyer Frank Davis, lawyer Dapa Ado, lawyer Yao Opon, lawyer Kweku Sifi, lawyer Shela Minka Premo, lawyer Victoria Bath, lawyer Ochre Ajakum, 
lawyer a year Ernest Owusu Dapa and a K Amwa lawyer. Omina a boy a chidom. Yamin Shramo, Yamia Duma, a Sabesia Ochina, now Yakosu Yadi Yuma, Medina Mijamo.